let's talk about muscle contraction types of muscle contraction now when you go to the gym and exercise your muscle contracts so let's uh, understand so consider okay you're doing the bicep curl exercise <sighs> Now when you do the bicep curl exercise, your bicep muscle contracts. Here is your bicep muscle. So it contracts, it relaxes. Contracts, relaxes. So this happens continuously with every repetition in the set. Now when the dumbbell moves, against gravity okay the bicep muscle it contracts and that's where it shortens shortening of bicep muscle happens during the lifting phase now during the lowering phase when the dumbbell travels okay towards gravity that's where the bicep muscle will lengthen now lengthening i'm not referring to stretching of the muscle i'm referring to when it comes back to its okay relaxed length okay so continuously contraction relaxation contraction relaxation okay this happens with every muscle that you train when you do your workouts now for this joint for a joint okay to bend the elbow joint the muscle bicep muscle should contract so the muscle shortens and it lengthens it it comes comes back to its Uh, normal length now this uh, muscle contraction is known as isotonic isotonic is where there is movement at a joint taking place and there is shortening and lengthening of the muscle contraction and relaxation so types of muscle contraction so one is isotonic in isotonic it can be subdivided into concentric and eccentric so concentric phase is where the muscle contracts and eccentric phase is where the muscle lengthens so concentric eccentric concentric eccentric phase now it's important to get a brief understanding of fitness so today i'm only talking about the types of muscle contraction in my upcoming videos i'll talk about how does this muscle contraction and the types of contraction how does it affect hypertrophy and strength now again i'll hold the dumbbell for few seconds okay against gravity Now you all have observed. I was holding the dumbbell 
continuously for few seconds now here there is no movement taking place but there is effort put in by the bicep muscle to hold this dumbbell for few seconds or minutes against gravity so it's weight in my hand and my muscles are putting in that effort to hold it in that position for some time and this uh, contraction of muscle where there is no movement taking place at the joint but there is effort put in by the muscle there is muscle tension created okay contraction is happening and this is termed as isometric so isometric is where there is no change in length of the muscle there is no contraction and relaxation of the muscle there is no movement taking place at the joint but there is tension created in the muscle to hold that weight that resistance in place for some time and that contraction is termed as isometric okay no change in length no movement at the joint but tension created in the muscle contraction is happening and that is isometric so there's another uh, contraction which i won't be referring to i'll only be talking about this two now this is just a representation okay this is my elbow joint and this is the muscle so this is muscle contracts concentric eccentric this is the elbow joint muscle lengthens to its relaxed state muscle lengthens an isometric there is no movement at the joint but there is muscle tension created which is isometric now we do many workouts in the gym least realizing what type of muscle contraction it is and this muscle contraction definitely it affects our strength and muscle mass hypertrophy which i'll be talking about in upcoming videos so just some examples um uh, isotonic contraction is workout which is squats okay bicep curl then bench press overhead press so there are many exercises and isometric exercises are plank side plank wall sit calf raise and hold okay so in upcoming videos i'll talk more about this in detail so there are 
muscle contraction which is isotonic and isometric and isotonic uh, contraction is again divided into concentric and eccentric